let's get right into it. I titled the stream. What is the uh, Cardinals path to victory? Right. Um, you know, the Cardinals are a 14 point underdog. It seems like it's a similar game to last week. I'd argue it's a little different. They're very different teams. The way they play, the way they're, I mean, the way their defense runs, they don't blitz a lot. The Giants blitzed a lot. This team doesn't. Uh, they're more of a run heavy team. I think last week the Giants were more trying to kind of come with the Rams approach where they were trying to dice it up the field. They weren't as effective. But um, what do you think this team, this Cardinals team's path to victory is? Uh, definitely what they did last week against Dallas, you know, run and run and run some more with James Conner. I think they racked up 222 rushing yards, 7.4 yards per carry. They beat Dallas. If if the Arizona Cardinals can get a few explosive plays, run the hell out of Conner, and maybe get a turnover or two, they absolutely can beat the Niners. That's their path to victory right there. Um, as far as blitzing Brock Purdy, I think teams are going to hesitate to blitz Brock Purdy after the way – the Niners quarterback showed last week that he could handle the the blitz. Uh, the Giants dialed up a bunch of exotics in in week uh, in week three, and Purdy and Shanahan and the Niner offense made him pay. So I don't expect to see a ton of blitz. Um, I think they'll send four most of the night and drop seven. Um, but you never know. You never know. They they could mix it up. It's uh you know it's Jonathan Gannon, former Eagles coordinator. I talked to Braden Willis today. I asked Kyle Shanahan a little bit about Gannon. He said you know he's doing a lot of the same things he did in Philly last year, albeit with a little bit lesser personnel. They didn't say that, but they kind of intimated that. Um, and I think you know so I, I don't think they'll they'll blitz Brock Purdy a lot. I think the game plan is run the ball last week arizona ran it 30 times for 222 yards 7.4 carry if they can have that kind of success running against the niners um it's gonna be a long day you know you're 100 right um james connor 5.2 yards per carry like you said 222 yards on the ground 30 attempts 7.4 carry two touchdowns when i was going into a little bit of a just statistical deep dive i i noticed that the Niners haven't allowed over 100 yards of rushing to a specific running back in 36 consecutive weeks, right? Wow. Uh, James James Conner had, I think, over 100 yards last week or close to it. I think he's had back-to-back 95-plus 100-yard uh, weeks. Um, a little bit of trivia. Do you know who the last 100-yard rusher was against the 49ers 36 weeks ago? Um, AFC or NFC? NFC. You're not gonna. Mm. You're not gonna. It's gonna. It's tough. It's tough. Is it tough? Yeah. It's not who you might expect. Uh, what year was this? This was 2021. 2021, hundred yard rusher against the Niners in 20. Todd Gurley. No, it was uh, Justin Fields. Wow. That crazy. Wow. Yeah. Now there you go. Yeah, that's, that's a good one right there. That's a good one, Kev. I know. I was looking back because I'm like, when was the last time they had a hundred yard rusher? They've had weeks where they've given up, like I think against the Falcons last year, they gave up like 150 yards on the ground, but it was split up between Ritter and Algier and like a, a few other backs. Huntley. But yeah. um, you want to know the the player that was closest to getting that hundred yards in those 36 in those 36 week window was the week after, and it was James Conner. James Conner, week nine of 2021 against the 49ers, had 21 carries for 96 yards, five receptions for 77 yards, and three touchdowns. So he had a monster day in 2021 against the 49ers. It's a far cry from the Chip Kelly era when uh, Belial Powell went for 100, Ruben Drones went for 100, Jacquez Rogers went for 100. Uh, I mean, anybody was running for 100 against Chip Kelly's in the Chip Kelly era. 